What's up, everyone? Welcome to Clown World News. We got clowns in the world. We got it's it's a, today. It's a roundup of all the clown news. We just got some small stories. Have you seen the clowns? They exist in the world. And they're not standing next to elephants anymore. They're next to donkeys. Yeah, now I'm a clown. Ah, regardless, let's move on. We got stories. Let's jump right in. Baltimore high school students learn to sell their self-published novels instead of drugs. English teacher Laquisha Hall uses Amazon KDP to publish more than a hundred of her students' works. Now this is actually awesome. I love this. I support this. I think this is great. In my, my school, elementary school, we had something called the Young Author Program. And you would kind of, you'd write books and then... You'd, at the end of the, like, the year, the teacher would send them in to this place and they'd get like a hardback cover and then all that. You'd make the whole book. I actually have one. So here's my book. It's called I Like My Family. And I just wanted to point out that if you check out the About the Author section, it says, My name is Ben. I have blonde hair. I have blue eyes. I am short. And I'm not short. I don't know why I lied. The best thing about me is I can beat all the Nintendo 64 games. So yeah, just just keep that on deck in case you got any Nintendo 64 games you need to beat. But I love I love the 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 young author program. I think writing is important. I, I think it's great and doing it, selling it on Amazon and actually getting like like actual like modern day books. I'm sure it's way better than that old dusty thing. But let's look at some of the books that they wrote. From One Queen to Another, A Teen Girl's Guide to Queendom, okay, by Diamond Doves, compiled and edited by Laquisha Hall, One Nation, One Heart, okay, A City Unspoken, A Dose of Our Reality, uh, okay, I Am the CEO, Chief Executive Overcomer. I think, okay, I think I see this. See with me, clarity. Okay, I think I get the theme. Regardless, I still think it's awesome. I think I, I like I like what she's doing. Shout out LaQuisha Hall. LaQuisha Hall. I don't, I don't know how to pronounce her name. I'm sorry. But yeah, I think that's great what you're doing with these kids. We're going to start off with a great story. We might move on to some silly stories. Me and my partner watching a social worker try to de-escalate the 6'8 naked man covered in poop with two samurai swords and a raging heart on. Have you heard about them talking of what they would do instead of the police if they abolish the police, if they defund the police? They want social workers. So, so like if your boyfriend starts hitting you, you call a social worker who shows up at your door and is like, hey guys, can we just chill? Do you need to talk to somebody? And then, I don't know if you've ever watched cops or some crazy videos. Sometimes, there's six foot eight naked men covered in poop with two samurai swords and a raging boner. Sometimes that happens. Who are you going to call in that situation? I guess, I guess the cops, maybe, maybe. <laughs> I don't know who you call. Do you just everyone run away? You just avoid that situation? Like, oh, guys, yeah, uh, Market Street's going to be closed off for the next hour. We got another six foot eight naked man covered in poop. Yeah, he's got two katanas. Uh, I'm not sure what style he uses. Does anyone have any counter style? He's, he's using crane. Do you have any tiger style? Use none? No tiger style social workers? We're going to have to. <laughs> he's retarded. I don't know. It's, it's silly. It's stop. Stop. Drop. Shut them down, open up shop in your brain, and think, because none of this shit makes sense. Of course you need the police. You need somebody like that. Stop kissing. Wear a mask while having sex to prevent coronavirus, Tam says. Now this isn't Tam, by the way. Let's see if we can find a picture of Tam. That's Tam. Now I don't want to be mean, but... Maybe she ain't having sex in general, if you know what I'm saying. Maybe she's not getting any. Stop kissing and consider wearing a mask when having sex to protect yourself from catching the coronavirus, Canada's chief medical officer said on Wednesday, adding that going solo remains the lowest risk sexual option in a pandemic. Yeah, I bet you go solo a lot. Now consider this. Um, 
do they want you to not spread coronavirus or do they just want to remove all love and romance from the bedroom? They just want it to be a lusty passion, like, lusty just fuck. It's just a fuck. That's what it is. And then this, the, the thought is like, yo, uh, I would never have sex with someone that I wasn't dating for a while. That's somebody that I didn't know very intimately. So, what, why, I already know them intimately. I'm hanging out with them a lot. Like, I'm not going to catch the virus from them because I'm around them all the time. It's almost as if they're implying that people are just willy-nilly going out there and having sex with random people. It's almost as if there's apps that allow people to do this. It's almost as if all of culture has started to push and propagate this idea that that's okay and that's healthy. It's almost. Um, oh, no way! I was literally, like, I linked, I went and found this. Because I, I saw this a long time ago. There's an old video on my main channel that talks about this. But it says it right here. Try glory holes for safer sex during coronavirus. Try glory holes. Literally, I, this is it. It's right here. The CDC. The BC Center for Disease Control. Like, what? What? Wait, wait, wait. I gotta fucking type in glory. Never searched for glory and had this come up before, you know what I'm saying? Alright, so here's steps to protect yourself during sex. Choose sexual positions that limit face-to-face -face contact. Yeah, so get in that 69 action. <laughs> Avoid or limit kissing in saliva exchange. Use barriers like walls, e.g. a glory hole, that allow for sexual contact but prevent close-to-close face-to-face -face contact what the fuck what the fuck the CDC is recommending you take a wall you cut a hole in it and stick your dick through that wall because that will protect you from coronavirus why is anybody listening to these people do not do this not only should you not do this because this probably won't uh, prevent. I, I'm not. I'm not gonna say it will or it won't. I'm not a doctor, but you don't don't cut a hole in your wall. Are you crazy? I, I have a hole in my wall. It's very tiny over here. It's so that I can plug the computer into the router to have better speeds when I play video games and upload videos. It is not so I can stick my dick. Do they want us to go to Home Depot and just get a, like a big? flat particle board and cut a hole in that and then just and then walk around like what, what you you have like a bed now and it's, it's like you two people you both have boards and you're like you're gonna get a splinter the only time you should get a splinter is when your brothers are named after renaissance painters and you're trying to work on your backflip kicks now these this whole thing should go in the shredder uh, you know what I'm saying because th this is nonsense don't listen to this lady. She's probably not an expert on any of these topics. Nonsense. Canadians can find ways to enjoy physical intimacy while safeguarding the progress we have all made containing COVID-19. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. You are crazy. You have, you've lost your goddamn mind if you ever had it. Shut the fuck up. You want to know how I know that all these people are crazy? That we're literally in a clown world? You want to know why? Because you know, sometimes you might think like maybe he's, maybe he's exaggerating. Maybe it's really not that crazy. Maybe the world isn't that fucked up. CNN Health says, cuckolding can be positive for some couples. Study says, what? What is going on, man? What is this? What is this nonsense town? This is nightmare fuel. Ian Kerner, probably a cuck. Um, for CNN, this is updated. In 2018, this is March. This is old. But I don't know if people realize this, because at the time, I don't know if people knew exactly what a cuck was. In our current political climate, the term cuck, short for cuck-servative, no, that's not what it is, has become an insult to the so-called alt-right, aimed at men they view as spineless and emasculated. The slur has its roots in the concept of cuckolding, or having an adulterous partner. Cucking is when you watch your your significant other have sex with somebody else and that gets you off that is fucked up that's the type of weird open relationship type will smith type beat fuck all of you 
You guys don't know anything about love, and you learn about love from the TV. You need to. Yeah, your parents. What are your, what are your parents like? What's their relationship like? Does your mom and dad love each other? I hope they do. My mom is a saint. My dad is a hero. And they love each other. And they would never put up with this nonsense. This fantasy has been around as long as marriage and sexuality. Said Lay, whose book, Insatiable Wives, addresses cuckolding in heterosexual couples. But we're hearing more and more about it these days. And more people are rejecting the social stigma against this fantasy. Lord of the Rings is a fantasy. This is a fucking nightmare. It's a travesty. Indeed, the numbers suggest that cuckolding, or at least thinking about it, is more common than you might imagine. How do you know what the fuck we're thinking about? Get out of our minds. <laughs> For his forthcoming book, Tell Me What You Want, The Science of Sexual Desire and How It Can Help Improve Your Sex Life. Lay Miller surveyed, surveyed thousands of Americans and found that 58% of men and about a third of women had fantasized about cuckolding. Press X to doubt. You want to know why? Because if some random person called me up and was like, Hey bro, you want to tell me about your sex life? I would hang the fuck up. I would not tell them that. I would never listen to them. Men are more likely to fantasize about cuckolding and they do it more often. But there are a number of women who have these fantasies as well, which points to the need for more research focused on women's cuckolding desires. There's no need for it. You just want money. You just want funding. We could read through all this. This is just nonsense. Just fucking nonsense town. I don't want to read this though. For men and couples considering the issue of cuckolding, it's important there be honesty, integrity, communication, mutuality, and shared values. I've seen men who try to trick their wives into cuckolding them, and this never, ever ends up well. You trick, what the fuck? Okay, if there's one thing that isn't involved in this, it's integrity. You got no integrity. Get the fuck out of here. What is this? I'm sorry. Some of this shit makes me go crazy, because it is crazy. I feel like I'm diving deep into a pool of... Cess? What is it? I don't, I don't know. What the, what's the cess and cesspool? I don't know. It's a pool of cess, for sure. So, moving on. Donald Trump says, Department of Education is looking at this. If so, they will not be funded. California has implemented the 1619 project into the public schools. Soon you won't recognize America. Now, if you don't know what the 1619 project is... The 1619 project is an ongoing initiative from the New York Times Magazine that began in August 2019, the 400th anniversary of the beginning of American slavery. It aims to reframe the country's history by placing the consequences of slavery and the contributions of black Americans at the very center of our national narrative. Basically, the founding of America wasn't 1776, it was 1619 when slavery started. And basically black people built America. And without black people and slavery, America wouldn't exist. So America was founded on racism. So it's inherently racist and there's no help in it. The 1619 Project blames the United States of America for the actions of Dutch, British, French, and Spanish colonial powers on the North American continent before the United States of America became a nation. It's ignorant revisionism written by uneducated commies. Throw it out. Thank you, Princess Mang. Peace is the prize. I, I, fuck yeah. I don't, I don't know who this chick is, but fuck yeah. Yeah, let's, let's not. Let's not and say we did. Let's not and say we didn't. How about that? <laughs> you know? <laughs> This reminds me of an old, old thing, like, talk to the hand, because I'm tired of talking to this fist. Hey, let's move on. All right, we're talking about makeup now. Look at these bitches. Look at this, whoa! This, if this, is this not what you think a Lamaus would be like? So this is just like, well, probably humans on Earth, and then the gray aliens, a Lamaus. This is why social media is scary. Don't meet people online unless you're like really sure about things. Also, I, I, I'm not, I'm personally not a fan of, of makeup like this, but it is crazy what filters and all that noise can do. Oh, they put this girl on the back because even with the makeup, she couldn't really make it work. Ah. Look at this chick. I don't, I don't know what she's. She's drinking something in it at one point. Like, I don't know what it's all. What's that? What are you drinking? 
How is this possible? Dude, what? What a weird world we live in. Do you think that the ancient geishas would have done it like this if they if they just didn't have the, the technique, like the technology wasn't at... What the, is she like tape her fucking chin back like that? What the fuck? Dude, that's so crazy. From that... What the fuck? Okay, no, but maybe this. Maybe in this picture she's dumbing it down. Dude, what the fuck? Speaking of makeup and girls, let's look at virtue signaling gone right? <laughs> Hashtag BLM, I can't breathe. Now this is the ultimate in virtue signaling. It's just women talking about some shit they really have no business talking about and cashing in on it. Cashing in on the whole craze. I'm sure they got lots of likes for this. Just like you, I've, I did a video talking about how like where we go one we go all has been taken by like a lot of like weird thoughts. Like this Insta hose, like using that and it's cashing in. I mean, they just must look at, they have like programs that check to see what, what's trending. Look at this. Look at all the work they did. I can't breathe. Uh, I can't. I can't. I can't. I just can't. I just think it's ridiculous. We'll end on this one. This one's the most ridiculous. Thinking about how different my life is from the man picking in the rice field every morning. All right, that wraps up today's Clown World uh, news. Uh, hopefully, hopefully that was entertaining somewhat at the very least. Uh, my main goal is to just inform, entertain a little bit. You can take it all with a grain of salt because I, I don't know what the fuck I'm saying. I'm probably retarded. But if you appreciate investigative journalism from people like me who, who may not be getting a speech or a speech handed to them from, you know, this is my room, my bedroom. It's not a studio. And you can check out the description, go to Patreon and support and all that. And check out the main channel, share, like, subscribe, out, do whatever you want. But what I do need you to do is call your mom, be a good person, stay vigilant, stay healthy, stay sharp. Don't get pessimistic, stay optimistic. So, peace.